Hello guys and welcome to the channel, this is Paper Roll. In today's video, let's talk about the new legendary collection for Suwon variant for the legendary weapons. If you're familiar with it, you start with going to Levis and choose the second tab and buying the four splinter of the legendary weapon you're working on. So for Suwon, we will buy the skill splinter of Suwon, which is for the same price, 350,000 karma, 10 chunks of ambergris, 75 gold with 2,500 uh, research note, and the last piece for 100 spirit shot. Once you have the four of them, you open your inventory bag, go to them and double click on it to combine the four into one fragment. That will move you to the second step of the collection or basically unlock it in general. And now you need to purify the scale of fragment. In this one, we're gonna need to go to Gala Delph, which is a new uh, map uh, that came with the release. So you can teleport to friends there or finish the story, but you need to actually start the story only will get you there. But you need to go to the new map and do the meta event. So there is this legendary that called Ravenous Wanderer, and you kill it on this uh, three platform. You fight it on the three of them. You technically, like you kill it three times. Think of it like that. And once you're done, it will move you to the second step and the second step as always is memory of the dragon in this case it's memory of swan so you need to collect 250 memories of swan by finishing events in any end of dragon map so the new map will count as uh, a jc map will count kining satan province any map will count just do events and you will gain a random number of memories of swan each time uh, three four twelve um, it doesn't matter and after many events in uh, I most of the time spend it in the new map to uh, for the profit and uh, the story I'm trying to combine it to do many things at the same time and you can actually keep track of it by keeping it on your screen the same way I do here by clicking the eye icon above the achievement in order to see how far you're getting there to collect the 250 and once you're done you can move to the second step so the second step is Lingering Void Ether, and to finish this one you need to finish the meta event in Equivalent Wild while wielding an Urine Legendary weapon. So you have to hold the weapon itself. If you're using a build that doesn't use your Legendary weapon, change your build. You need to equip the Legendary weapon in order for it to count or to want, and you're gonna have to do it all over again. The meta I mean, not the whole collection. So once that is done, you move to the next step. And the next step, as always, again, is a jumping puzzle. This time, it's a jumping puzzle in Kining uh, City. It's an old Kining, so the top north east of the map, there is this jumping puzzle that's called uh, Wind Through Walls. It is quite difficult, in my opinion, and there is wind that push you or knock you back two times, and be careful because stability will not help you. And as you see me here, I'm moving from the ground. Uh, if you didn't know where to start or where the jumping buzzer start, I will show you even the ether crystal. So I'm moving from the ground level, from the water, uh, across those ladders. And you just turn right after the ladder and you will see the ether crystal right there. You need to interact with it in order to gain the achievement for the collection to continue. In order to do this jump and puzzle, you can't teleport, you can't cheat, you can't do anything. You need, from the moment you start this achievement, you need to do the jump and puzzle for yourself. This is the Ether Crystal, and after you do the jump and puzzle, and I will be linking a video for someone who did it, since I had some difficulty recording this, and I took too long anyway, so I didn't record myself doing uh, the jump and puzzle. But you can have the video in the description. Uh, so you follow step by step how to do jump and puzzle. Once you reach the top, you will find after the chest of uh, the jump and puzzle a crystal to your right uh, to purify the ether, interact with it, and you're done with this step and you can move to the next. So this is the last difficult uh, step that you need to do and you need to kill Suwan in the end of dragon meta. So in the JTC, you need to kill Suwan while wielding a legendary weapon again. 
if you don't hold the weapon if you don't equip it if you don't have it in your build you will have to do the meta all over again so keep that in mind and after that you're done with this setup of the collection you just need to go to levis again in arbor stone and buy the skin from him and it's over congratulations now you have unlocked your so one legendary weapon you can do it all over again to unlock the rest of the legendary weapon uh, of so on one by one all 16 if you want to if you find this video helpful leave a like a comment don't forget to subscribe share and i'll see you next time peace